Are we supposed to sit back and pretend that all this craziness we see now didn't have anything to do with locking down a country of 330 million healthy people? I won't pretend that. I think that is flatly absurd. And I want somebody, just give me one person, I want one person who has the guts, who was all pro-lockdown this, stay home that, hide, hide under your bed that. I want one honest person to step up and say, look, maybe I was wrong. Maybe we're seeing some really, really, really ugly stuff come out of these lockdowns. And maybe, just health-wise, maybe lockdowns are bad. Maybe lockdowns are bad medicine. Are we allowed to say that? Well, I'm a doctor. You're a doctor? You're a doctor, so you're supposed to know how the human body, the human mind works? Well, that's funny because I'm an idiot. I was in construction and then the Marines, and then I went to community college. I don't know anything, and even I know the human mind needs fresh air, exercise, social interaction. The human mind needs a job, needs a purpose in life. And you, as a doctor, you thought you could take all those away? without severe consequences? Oh, and did I mention kids? Again, back to my kids. I got two good kids, strong kids. We raise them, you know, no whining, things like that. I've seen this affect my kids. They're not losing their minds. We're not pouring pills down their throat or anything like that, but I've seen it affect my kids. My kids need social interaction. My my kids need to go out in schools, athletic activities. My kids need to be able to go out, talk with other people, and those are my kids. Those are kids who are raised in a loving household. Granted, as you can imagine, I'm not father of the year. They got two parents that love them in the home. Now, that's my kids. What about all the kids from a disastrous home, a broken home, Kids who have real mental health issues or are stuck with a parent or guardian with real mental health issues. What have we done to those kids? How much have we permanently damaged those poor kids? For all the talk we do in this country about it's about the kids, it's about the children, kids, kids, kids. How often have you even seen kids mentioned during all this? Because these kids are stuck and these kids are suffering. I can get in my truck and take a drive go grab six pack, come home, go sit in my room. My kids can't drive anywhere, can't do anything. My kids are stuck. And again, that's my kids. Tough situation out there. Schools had better be open. These freaking kids aren't even vulnerable. Get these kids back in school or get homeschooling rolled up again, which wouldn't be bad. Hey, thanks so much for watching The First on YouTube. If you liked what you saw, go ahead and like and subscribe. You heard me, like it, subscribe. You'll get a lot more of it and a lot more of me.